This is my first video of hopefully many to come on my newly acquired Tormach 770 and in acquiring it I actually upgraded my monitor to a 20, 21 inch monitor which I felt was very appropriate and as you can see Mach 3 actually uses the full screen quite effectively so I think that was a good purchase on my part. Um, some of the other things I got with a keyboard cover, uh, mouse comes with it, but uh, you also want to get this remote, which allows you to control all the axes, which is, I think, incredibly important. The unit shouldn't even come without it. I also added the enclosure, which I thought would be pretty useful when tooling, so stuff doesn't get thrown all over the garage, which uh, person like to keep pretty clean. Uh, I also acquired the vise from Tormach. I'm having some issues getting it in here and operational with the enclosure, as you can see when you match up the vise to the end of the Y axis. The, the tooling actually won't fit in there very well, so I need to work on them with work on that with them. I also added just for reference this light, which is optional, as you can see here. You flip the switch; it's magnetic very inexpensive around thirty dollars but it adds some nice light to the work area as you can see I personally think it's a necessity and uh, it just fits right around you can see right around the collar there with a couple actually three thumb screws and uh, it is, it's pretty bright uh, not as bright as I would hope but it's brighter than anything else out of the market in addition I added this disc hockey puck light which you can see here you wave your hand in front of it, it actually comes on as just a little bit more light to the work area. You, I personally don't think you could ever have too much light in your work environment. Also added the coolant system, which I have not hooked up yet. I haven't been working with metal. I don't need it yet, but that's going to come very quickly. <clears throat> and uh, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the unit. I've also added a pallet jack here. It's a new pallet jack, which... Uh, I will be using when I need to move the device around or the machine around in this narrow area. And there's my air conditioner in here for the times it gets really hot, which isn't unusual in Texas. But uh, I just want to add the first video. I do plan on adding the pneumatic changer because I've been spending some time with the machine and I'm finding that uh, I don't particularly care to be changing out the tooling constantly it's a little bit of a nuisance but I've gotten pretty good at uh, doing it pretty fast I can change the tooling out from stop to start within 30 seconds so it takes about 30 seconds off but when you're working on something you really don't want to have to stop but uh, otherwise I'm pretty happy I am happy with the arm I think it's a requirement I think you absolutely should get it if you're going to get the machine I'm not so sure about the other one for your tooling. I'm going to be adding a little shelf right here to the left. I don't have a lot of tools, so to me it's not that important. I would have one observation. This isn't really very strong, so this table moves very easily. It's very thin. It's uh, a laminated composite wood. You lean on it, and it bends very. It, it goes down very, very easily. So, you know, it is what it is. If I have time at some point, I may make some improvements to the uh, mechanism so it can actually accommodate a little bit of weight because the, the arms are actually made of steel so I know they can take more weight and uh, it's quite thick as a matter of fact so other than that uh, I'm pretty happy I've got another addition to this regarding the tool holder I made which I'll add in just a moment I think it's pretty cool